Hello everyone, it's Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. We are now in the balsamic moon phase, and this is the time of the cycle we want to release what we do not want to carry into the upcoming new cycle. New moon is early Friday morning. The moon is in Cancer. It's going to move into Leo at 7.54 p.m. Eastern Time. Today in the Sulcan, it is 13 Sun, which is the most holy day in the sacred calendar. Skills today are to gain focus and equilibrium. True alignments are value system, overcoming, exchange of spiritual knowledge, benefits, donating time or money, cooperation, practice, discipline, other dimensions of awareness, heightened creativity, attuning to spiritual forces and messages, and a light at the end of a tunnel. Catalysts for change are frozen in place, repeating a negative pattern, failure to see a life lesson, feeling of sacrifice that has come to nothing, a loss of perspective, confused, excluding others, and downgrading or devaluing. We want to watch money and market markets for changes today. The Sabian symbol for the solar lunar month, glass blowers shape beautiful vases with their controlled breathing. It's about creating your own vessel. Sabian symbol for the solar lunar year, fairies dancing in the setting sun, which is sunset on the New World Order. The big story today is Mars making a trine to Uranus. Mars empowers the expect the unexpected element of Uranus. Mars rules energy, impetus, motivation, and drive, so it it maximizes Uranus's effects. Mars is discharging the degree in the zodiac of a merry-go-round. In many ways, various merry-go-rounds stop suddenly today and tomorrow. Seemingly never-ending cycles lose power. Sometimes when we get off of a ride that has been going around and around, we are wobbly. Our feet try to find solid ground and our heads try to stop reeling. After a few moments, we are able to focus and feel grounded once again. This is what we have in store today. How wonderful is that? Who is ready to get off of a crazy ride? Look for drastic changes in your outlook as your mind clears. Something will dawn on us that we have missed while we've been whizzing around and around. We become aware of something that was happening on a much deeper level. It is a profound gift. Mars will make exact trine with Uranus at 6.39 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, but the effects begin today. When Mars does make the exact trine with Uranus, it will be discharging the energetic of a harem. As I mentioned yesterday, this is the Sabian symbol for the new moon in Virgo, which begins early Friday morning. And since Uranus is discharging a woman of Samaria, which is Sumer, Mesopotamia, Iran, Iraq, a woman of Samaria comes to draw water from the well, we will get a foreshadowing today and tomorrow of what is to come next month with regard to the global sex trafficking ring. It will be interesting to see what develops. Remember that Uranus always brings the unexpected. It is not possible to totally predict it. It is sudden, often shocking, things come from out of the blue, accidents happen, rejections or course corrections occur. We also can feel like we have lightning in our bodies. Uranus rules anxiety and insomnia. It can be very uncomfortable, but it always works in our favor. What may look like a tragedy now is seen as a blessing later. We should not forget that Uranus is conjunct the Chiron point. This means that Uranus is doing everything that needs to be done in order to heal things and teach us better ways. Uranus conjunct the Chiron point is an epic transit that happens only every 84 years, and it's in effect until May 4th, 2020. Further evidence of today foreshadowing the fall of our contact systems comes with the sun discharging five Virgo, a man becoming aware of nature spirits, fairies, and normally unseen spiritual energies, 
and Mercury discharging 27 degrees of Leo, daybreak, the luminescence of dawn in the eastern sky. We will see what will come from this year's theme of fairies dancing in the setting sun when the fairies dance at the break of sunrise. Wise owls have their ears open and eyes peeled on the horizon. Tread lightly out there today, everyone. People are likely to be erratic. Stay focused when driving, when using electrical devices, especially around water, and if lightning is present where you are today. Let's rejoice in the ending of a merry-go-round.